I am so excited to start talking about this and get into it. Welcome to the channel if you're just on across this video and if you are this is probably going to be one of my exciting announcements and it's something that I've been keeping under wraps for the past year it has been so hard to keep this a secret but it is finally out and I'm bringing out my collection with Naked this is such a dream come true for me I have manifested this I can't tell you for the longest time for years and years this has always always been on my list and it's been specifically to do this collection with naked i have loved and worn their products for so many years i just love the brand and i really stand by it and this is exactly why i wanted to work with them on this collection and it has been an absolute dream so we have been working on this for the past year probably more than a year now, which is actually insane. I feel like one part of me is like, this has gone really fast. And then the other part of me is like, I can't believe this has been over a year in the making. And also the fact that I've not been able to kind of share it with you guys, but don't worry. I have been vlogging behind the scenes and everything that has been going on in the lead up. I vlogged the first design meeting when I flew out to meet all of the team in Stockholm and that was back in March last year I believe and this was all kind of in the talks earlier than that so this has really been a long process and something I have put my absolute all into. I bet you I've been putting my 100% effort and time and everything into it and there's been so much going on in my life that also this has been such an amazing thing to kind of go alongside what has been happening in my life. So if you are new here, I am a bride-to-be and I am soon at getting married in May, which is coming so close now. The collection kind of goes hand in hand with it because there's going to be some elements of bridal pieces in here, and I wanted to create a collection that really had my full style and I was able to have my input into it. So with Naked, they do do a lot of edits with influencers, which is amazing. And then they do also collections. So I was really honored that I got to have full input with the design process and the team have been amazing. It has been so fun and also so interesting to work with them on this. This is the first time I've done a collection like this. I've been holding out because I specifically wanted to do it with Naked. So like I said, there's going to be elements of bridal in here, but there's also going to be some kind of spring, summer, casual elements as well. I really wanted this collection to be an extended part of my style and also cater to a lot of people. So obviously with me having my wedding coming up, I wanted to include some bridal looks and for you brides to be, but I also wanted this to be a little bit more casual as well. So it is very much inspired by the 90s, which I'm sure you guys know if you follow me on here for a while, that is very much my big style inspiration. You know, looking at those kind of style icons of Julia Roberts, my favorite Elizabeth James from The Parent Trap, really bring in that kind of chic 90s feel to this collection. But there's a little bit of a twist. So the twist is there's going to be some European hues coming through this. So I obviously wanted to make this in terms of bridal, a lot of white pieces, cream pieces, neutrals, those colors that you can always gravitate towards but there's also gonna be a nice pop of blue and a lovely pattern within this collection as well. The pattern is absolutely beautiful. And again, it's something that we've worked on for so long. There's been so many back and forths on this and we finally nailed it. And the last sample is just beautiful. So I've been vlogging the whole design process. And then I also vlogged us shooting this collection out in Mallorca. So I actually shot this quite early on because there's been so much going on with traveling, 
hopefully you guys have updated on the South Africa vlog. I've had other people's weddings and then also planning my own wedding along with house renovations. So there's been a lot to juggle and it's really nice I can finally sit down and talk this collection through with you and show you what we've been getting up to. So I wanted to first kind of get to the basics of how this came about. So I'm going to share some of the initial mood boards that I put together and the initial ideas I had for this collection that I shared with the team and then they drew their inspiration from it and we worked together to pull together the first designs. So it's been such an interesting process, like I said, to see how everything works in terms of the design process, samples, how many samples go back and forward. Also the fact that they've been able to give me such an input on this has been so nice. So every little detail has not gone amiss. Every stitch, every button, every loophole, everything I have been able to work with them on and really perfect and I just hope you guys are going to love this collection as much as I do. It even makes me emotional because it's something I've wanted for so long and I'm so proud of it and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So what do you think on the buttons? Do you think these are the other ones? more yellow gold, I feel like that's maybe more champagne. Yeah. I like that size spread. That's, that's also the same. Yeah. I like yeah. the size also more. Yeah. Bigger, yeah. Because it just felt slightly too small. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the buttons on this are like almost 4D. Yeah. You know. Oh, there's more options. Where am I now? Yeah, to have that button with it, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit more subtle, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. If you saw that running down rather than the bigger ones. French toile, isn't it? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but it can also be, you know, inspired by the Italian I enjoy sort of mm. it's it's so like many different Material of it. Yeah, is that kind of like yes? Yeah, yeah. Sucker. It feels comfortable. Yeah. This one. No, it's too. It's like in between. Yeah. Here. But like again for this one. Guys, today is a very very exciting day. It is been some time since I last vlog in relation to what's been happening. It's been a long process which I'll catch you up on but the samples have arrived and ignore the fact they look like this. They all came in beautiful packaging but I was far far too excited and I've unpackaged it and started to try it all on. So I'm going to steam it all, put it on the rail and I'm going to try on some of these pieces because I finally have the samples in my hand which I cannot tell you how exciting this is. We've been going back and forward for months now on perfecting these and they're here. Oh my god I'm very very excited. So I'm going to start steaming them, styling them because I have the shoot next week which is even more exciting and I want to figure out how I'm going to basically style it all up for it so let's get all of this unpackaged and onto the rail so I can fully see it and show you. <laughs> So 
So this is one of the sets. So it's the printed linen shirt, which is so lightweight and comfortable. This is actually gonna be really cute style, just like over a bikini. That's kind of like how I pictured it, that kind of throw on look, go down to the pool, go to the beach, post beach lunch. And I just love this print. It's turned out so well. And then styled with the trousers, which again, are super loose, they're elasticated, comfort is key. So I definitely wanted to bring that into the collection. I've just rolled them over because these ones are a little bit big on me. I need to get the size below. This is just one of the samples I'm trying on, but they are such a comfy fit. And again, even these on their own with just like a white t-shirt. So this is one of the sets. It is just like wearing pajamas. It's that comfortable. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite pieces from the collection. I feel like this is such a me piece and just putting it on makes me so happy. I've just steamed it. It is fresh out of the bag and I absolutely love it. How beautiful is this top? So it's this top jacket. So I've actually got nothing underneath it in a minute. I just feel like this is so beautiful and I hope you guys are gonna love this because I had this in mind of just a relaxed feel but a little bit elevated. So it's got the beautiful, of course, puff sleeves and it comes elasticated, so it's a really, really nice fit. So it gives it that shape here and volume. And then it's got this beautiful curved neckline and then the little bow tie details that bring it together. So we just went with two in the end. So it ties here just under the bust and then at the top and it is in this white linen material. So the original sample for this was actually in this baby blue color and I absolutely loved it and I was trying to make the decision but I feel like I went with the right one and went with it in white because it just really stands out and you can layer this over, like I said, dresses. There's so many ways you can style it. So they come just at the ankle here as you can see with the length of them and this is designed in the fact that I always struggle to find trousers that fit so I wanted these to be a bit more of like an ankle length and shorter trouser to match this kind of like effortless feel with the set. So the materials are the exact same, it's the white linen and then there's also a top that matches this as well. So you can mix and match loads of pieces throughout the collection, which is what I really had in mind when we were designing it because I wanted it to be versatile. And then this is another set, which is a firm favorite and you might be able to see but this is very much inspired by that kind of 90s vintage feel which is very in line with my style and where I get a lot of my inspo from. So I've gone with this kind of cut across neckline, shoulder pads to give it that structure and I love this kind of boxy feel to it but it has that real classy finish. So we went with these gold buttons which give it this kind of vintage finish to it with the tweed material which is so beautiful so I just absolutely love how this has come out because I feel like it's one of those jackets where I wasn't sure if the buttons would work with the material but in the end it's all worked out and there's two pockets I feel like every jacket needs that detail with the pockets and then we also designed it with the matching shorts so these again are such a beautiful fit. It's got the belt loops if you do wanna style them separately, obviously with a belt. And then again, the darts going through here to give it that tailored feel and the turn up at the bottom. So I'm wearing actually an EU34. I thought I might need the EU36 because I do like to oversize, but I feel like with this one, the 34 works. I have got a 36, so I will kind of like trial and see how it works on the shoot. But I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of some of the pieces as this one is definitely a core favorite. This dress is in the same tall print. This one is a little bit big on me. Again, this is the sample size, so I will be going down a size, which means the waist will be a little bit more fitted like this. So just for context, obviously this is not the final piece of how it's gonna look and how I'm gonna style it. I just, I'm too excited. I'm putting them all on and showing you some of them. But just how beautiful is this? So obviously it will be cinched in a little bit more here at the waist, but the sleeves on this, this kind of like flute, Oh, I love it, flute design. It comes a little bit out as you can see. 
and then it's got this gorgeous like frill going around the hem of the collar it opens up it's got these little kind of ties so you can tie it here if you wish you can put it in a little bow then we've done a hook and eye so it comes in in this v-neck so obviously this isn't gaping and then it comes in here at the waist and then just flows down with these gorgeous pleats so it gives this beautiful effortless like flow and shape to the dress this neckline is so flattering it comes in with the darts here that run all the way down the body and then it has the open slit at the bottom to give it that movement and a little bit of that kind of sexy feel here to open up the dress. At the back is where all of the magic is happening and it is this big oversized bow with the two strips that run in the middle. So I actually had these moved more central because I feel like it's a lot more flattering and you can see how the bow is so big and oversized and then these pieces run down the back which I just think is so beautiful a very cute little mini dress again it's very bridal if you want it to be I'll be wearing this in Sorrento walking around getting gelato that kind of easy throw on dress put with sandals and you can also dress this into the evening as well so it's very versatile I feel like the fit really does it justice and I just love this scoop back to it it's just amazing having them, trying them on, and finally seeing the last samples being made. So I'm going to steam them all, style them all, pack them all, ready for the shoot, and I will see you guys on the other side in Mallorca. It is happening guys, I'm on route to the airport for the shoot, and I'm not sure if I've actually told you guys where we are shooting this collection, but we are actually shooting it out in Mallorca and it's in a little town that I've never been before and they've hired out this amazing villa which I cannot wait to see but if you can see behind me or through the window it is currently pouring down of rain here so I'm very excited to leave this rain and hopefully go and get some sun for the next few days but it won't be a chill sun holiday obviously it's going to be full on we're going to be shooting over the next two days we won't land till like later this evening so by the time we get there, it'll probably be dark. Check in, meet the team, and then it's an early call time in the morning. I believe it's on the call sheet, it's like 6 a.m. So I've got to get up. I'm doing my own hair and makeup just to feel more comfortable. And I'll be doing my full glam and then get ready to shoot this collection. I can't believe the day has come that this is happening. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this on this scale before. So I just have to pinch myself a little bit because I'm really happy this is all coming together and I just can't wait to see the location and all of the ideas we've got and put it together and start shooting this collection and for you guys to see it all. It's gonna be amazing just to bring this whole collection to life. So I thought I'd just start the vlog as I'm en route. I'm gonna go meet my manager at the airport. We're gonna fly out together and get this shoot on the way. Good morning, we have made it. And my beautiful manager has come and got me a coffee this morning, bless her, because trying to get a coffee in any kind of like European country that's non-dairy is hard. So mission accomplished just done my glam just quickly blow my hair out with the dyson i think i'm going to do this for now and then obviously i'll be changing it up probably putting it up so i'm half up half down but it's the morning of day one shoot it is so beautiful here the sun is coming in so the weather is on our side hopefully i can give you a little bit of a tour of this villa because it's amazing i'm ready to get in the first look shot we are now on outfit two this is one of my favorite sets it's the cute blazer i need to do this button up with the shorts it's like this tweed set i love the fit of these shorts i'm gonna put this with my hair down and my gold sunnies that kind of like real 90s vintage look but i'm really excited to shoot this one this is definitely one of my core favorites of the collection and then you might be able to see we've got some other pieces here hanging up ready to shoot after Look three down, 
tip we're now going on to look for but this is the set i don't think i've actually shown you on the vlog it's this kind of linen shirt with the beautiful 12 print and then it comes with the matching trousers as well so this will be perfect to wear as separates obviously together over a bikini if you're going for lunch I love this one. So we're now gonna go and do the bikini shots, but we're just debating the light, because I'll show you from this angle. All right, so I think I'm gonna do it here where the lighting's really nice, but it's gonna be hit and miss if the lighting's gonna be too harsh, because it's quite midday. So hopefully if you see the shots here, we got it. We went into the cute little town, it's so nice here. I'm in the next look, so I'm gonna just prop you up on here. How cute is this dress? But yeah, I wanted to probably show you this because it's this lovely little off the shoulder number with the bow. And then we've actually put tall in the material here, if you can kind of hear it. So it makes it have this kind of a puffy shape to it, which I think is very fair. And I really wanted a cute little mini. This would be so cute if you had like the night before, rehearsal, dinner, engagement party. So many cute occasions to wear this little dress. It feels so weird wearing the designs now, but I'm actually really happy with how they're turning out so far. So going into the next look now, which is one of the white, it's like please say pleated dress. And I think we're going to try shoot that on the stairway downstairs. So I think we're nearly on to look six or look seven. Plowing through it. seriously right now but day one wrapped and this is the aftermath i've shot i think 10 or 11 looks today i'm absolutely knackered but we had such a productive shoot i cannot wait to sit and look through all the content and obviously share it with you guys but i literally went straight in the shower put a face mask on in my comfies and this is the reality after a long day of shooting so see you guys in the morning good morning it is day two we have already shot this look again another favorite of mine how cute is this dress probably not selling it right now stood in the kitchen but it's a really cool kitchen if you can see behind it's like very restored it's got these kind of like rustic feel to it but just shot this i don't know if i'll have pictures to show you of this yet if so i'll put it on the screen and it's got a really cute back to it so you'll be able to see it but yeah we're gonna go out in the street now and shoot it there as well Instagram reels and we've got one tripod human tripod and the other one just to show the behind the scenes of how much goes into these videos so I thought I'd give you a little kind of villa tour because it's such a beautiful villa I mean look at the high ceilings and this big archway it's a little bit dark because we've got the doors and the shutters shut at the minute but these are the staircases how beautiful 
it's really got kind of that like Mediterranean European tiles and then this goes all the way up to floors so this is the room that we've been using to kind of put all the products style and have everything here on the first floor which has been really easy and then you come through here it's kind of like a chill area here's Leona <laughs> you're in like a dark hole again <laughs> this is the kitchen so it's really nice it's like restored it's got that rustic feel and then this is the beauty outside it's got all of these kind of terraces with the greenery hanging down it's beautiful i'm not sure actually if i've shown you the pool let me unlock this and quickly try and get out here to show you because the pool area is so pretty as well so if you come through they've got orange trees lemon trees it's so pretty so we were kind of shooting here doing some swimwear I think this is like a pizza oven, I'm not quite sure, but I really want something, obviously not, not this old, but something like this at home, like a little kind of out cooking area. But I just love all of these like orange trees, lemon trees. I might take a lemon home. I do like my little lemon teas, but as you come up here, this is the pool area. The sun's gone in at the minute, it's quite hazy, but it was lovely with all of the sun coming over on the pool whilst we were chilling here but it's just really cool vibe it's something a little bit different and there's loads of different terraces so in here is kind of like a pool um games room and then they have these different terraces everywhere if i come around here don't want to make you guys sick with all these uh twists and turns but there's another terrace up here and then you can kind of see the building in front with the terraces there so i'll lead you up the stairs and show you some of the rooms that we've been shooting in because it's just been <laughs> such a great location and so many different vibes all around the villa like we shot in this window which was beautiful as well so i'll insert a picture so you can see that but i'll lead you upstairs so you just come up the stairs here and these are some of the rooms that we've been shooting in which is here we've actually been getting lost there's so many rooms in this place so i think that's another bedroom but if you come through it might be dark at the minute because the shutters are there we go you can kind of see with a little bit of light i've just quickly opened the shutters but we shot in here as well yesterday and it was so really really good lights you've got all the big windows here and it was just really nice how the curtains were kind of coming into the shot but it's just the simplicity of these rooms and the big tall ceilings that have made it so easy to get the shots and these really cool ceilings as well with the beams and then there's loads of these kind of like twigs coming out which we've been hang, um, hanging a lot of the product on obviously it's just a little bit of a mess at the minute but I'll show you the other bathroom this is the other view from the other bedroom across the hall it's so pretty and then scooping round these big bifolding doors which lead into this like really it's got this vintage feel this bathroom so they've got the big tub and then this chandelier again with the high ceiling so we're able to get some really cool shots here and some videos for reels and tiktoks so i'm sure you'll be seeing them soon and then i'll show you my bedroom which is just through here so there's actually no door it's just this curtain it's kind of like an open plan with these beautiful arched windows here and then it's as if the bed is floating i'm not sure if i've shown this yet on the vlog but i'm sure you'd have seen some of the behind the scenes shooting in here we did a lot of the core kind of bridal looks in here and then we've got the again the hanger that we can put some of the products on which you can see the beautiful maxi dress with the print here really standing out against the white but every single room has been such a cool concept like with the slanted roof so it's been so great for shooting this collection. I'm gonna be sad to leave this place, but it's time to pack everything up and get going.